Hello and welcome. This is Mary Ann with Akashic Inspirations, and this is going to be the weekly Tarot and Oracle card reading for the sign of Scorpio for the week of April 17th to the 23rd. So, wow, this week is kind of your week, Scorpio. You've got the full moon in your sign on the 22nd, so it should be a wonderful time for you to manifest and really um, have that deep connection with yourself, that inner connection that's really strong and, and, and being under that full moon. So get yourself out in the full moon, put your crystals, your cards, you know, put yourself under the full moon and absorb those beautiful energies for you. Now, we are going into Mars retrograde on the 17th and Pluto retrogrades uh, starts retrograding on the 18th and um so i feel that the energies are surrounded by the fairy elementals so we continue to use the dorian virtue and radley valentine fairy tarot and i thought it would bring out as an additional blessing card the diana cooper unicorn cards because they are the higher elementals of unconditional love and purity of source and essence so let us see what our angels and guides <clears throat> want us to know this week. I call in the fairies and the unicorns, my unicorns and our guides to help us. And we have two cards ready. So we start with renewal. So when we go into the moon in your sign, um, it is about uh, tapping into a, a moment of reviewing. So at the beginning of the week, you're kind of going to do a little bit of a review of what's been going on within your life and really seeing if you are dedicating yourself to the priorities and to the things that you love to do. Um, it's understanding. It's a uh, it says, review the past and present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose, releasing judgments of yourself and others. So it looks like the full moon energy is already influencing you in order to be able to help you release um, the the old paradigms, the old perceptions, the old uh, deep inner uh, uh, hurts and wounds that you have received from others and allow yourself to find that place of forgiveness. And that really sometimes talks about deep deep inner work because then we have the eight of winter which is that you're allowing your thoughts to create these limitations and what you're thinking is not really for the best for you um, you've you've limited your boundaries you've limited yourself you've allowed yourself to believe things that uh, maybe are not actually true and maybe you've fallen into a trap of self-judgment so let us see what other messages want to come out for you and we have a beautiful card which is the queen of summer and the bottom the shadow card is the eight of autumn so it looks like you're coming into mastery and we have two eights which is very interesting the two eights let's let's go ahead and look at this card and we'll leave this one for last because i want to dedicate a little bit to the numerology of eight which is the sign of infinity and here we have two of them so it means that you're coming into a portion of where you're about to step into a type of mastery so here's the eight of autumn and it says do more research before proceeding education in the form of seminars going back to school apprenticeships excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects so again as we're you're reviewing what you really want to dedicate your life to and perhaps you feel that in order for you to move forward, that you need to expand your, your information, expand your knowledge, expand um, how you are approaching either the project or if it's your own um, inner work, your own spirituality. Um, and overcoming, you feel that maybe by, oh, by educating yourself a little bit more and seeking the inner wisdom, then you'll be able to come, overcome these blockages that... You have set upon yourself and when you do that I believe this is here the Queen of Summer which is the Queen of Cups here is this very you need to learn to nurture and love yourself and be generous with yourself as well as others and it's loving comforting emotional and intuitive so really allow that intuition that inner wisdom to come through and guide you because it says listen to your heart intuitive insights you can trust taking care of others perhaps too much. There we go. So this is why I feel that this is about taking care of yourself 
and being generous to yourself and being kind and being loving to your own self first so that then you have that in which to be able to give later. So this is a time really about you, um, really going within yourself and seeking out your own intuition and inner wisdom and and allowing it to guide you and um, and to to be a little selfish in that sense uh, about concentrating on yourself. So let us see what the unicorns have as a blessing for us this week for Scorpio. And we have, oh, we have the wishes card. So it says, be careful what you wish for, as one wish will be granted. So again, this is perfectly in tune with this card of the renewal of the judgment card, um, which is really higher. It's really about being on your spiritual path and understanding your spiritual purpose. So when you wish for something, ensure that it is for your highest good, right? And and make sure that it is done in a loving in a compassionate manner with yourself and allow your allow healing to come into you allow forgiveness for yourself do it for you so that you can become a better person you can become that person on which you want to see and show out and share with the world so a quiet week i think of inner 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 work and really tapping into that prosperity that is within you and then then that's when you make your wish and you said now I know what I want now I know what is my purpose now let me let me make my choices based on that and combine your heart with your thoughts and work it um, in an intuitive basis so if you do need some help with that and you would like your own personalized reading, please go to Akashic Inspirations. You can check out all the readings that I have available there. Akashic readings, um, tarot and oracle card, as well as healings. Um, and I look forward to sharing with you on Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on Facebook live stream in which we talk about um, energies of the week. We talk about... I. Uh, Sometimes I'm more than likely uh, will channel messages as well as pull some cards and do some free readings for for those who are watching. And I look forward to sharing with you on a daily basis with my Facebook uh, cards of the day. And I thank you so much for taking the time to sit and watch this and listen and sharing your energies with me. And I send you many, many blessings for this week and for the inner work that you will be doing. Namaste. Um.